going to take apart the um, 25 by 100 Celestron Skymaster binoculars because they're out of collimation. But I want to make sure I understand what I'm adjusting first. I saw a video somewhere that showed how to do it. Actually, it wasn't a video. It was a, uh, um, it was a document, PDF, that showed which screws to do, but I can't find it. So anyway, we're going to take this apart so that we can understand what's in here. As you can tell, this is a, a pretty janky edit right here, but I got, uh, I got done with the main video and then realized I left out some really important stuff. Uh, one is, when you collimate, don't remove the eyepieces. And I'm putting the, uh, this edit in before the main video because I don't, want, I don't want anybody following my video and seeing me take these eyepieces out just to collimate it. You don't have to do that. So leave your eyepieces in. Okay? And all you got to do is take out these three screws. <clears throat> and then, well, these will fall down like whatever. They'll, they'll just move aside like this. And then you can access your screws with the eyepieces still in, of course. So you're going to need a little light to go in there, maybe a headlight or something like that, and a long screwdriver. <clears throat> this the screwdriver I have right here, uh, you need a number one Phillips, is not long enough to go down there because the... The um, handle hits the eyepiece. So I have a much longer screwdriver, but this is too long, but it works. So number one Phillips. So again, don't, <clears throat> excuse me, don't take the eyepieces out like I did in the video. We just did that so that we could understand what this prism assembly was. Now here's a photo of the left-hand side actual screw positions. So I've already gone to the liberty to unscrew these screws right here. And I've also, boy, that was close. I've also backed these out. You can see the eyepieces are threaded. And thread in right here with a real, real large th thread. <clears throat> Excuse me. So as with any optical thing, don't put your grubby paws on any of the optical surfaces. All right, so again, the threads right here, it's a half of a third, or a three, about two thirds of a thread here, goes on here. When you reassemble it, make sure that this gasket is firmly tucked in this groove before you put it on. I didn't before, and see how I pinched that gasket? So. I don't plan to be scuba diving with these, so it's not a real big deal, but I still wish I wouldn't have done that. We'll put that on there. Set these aside. I've already taken the screws out of this side here, so what we're going to do, we're just going to lift this out. So, you take this and just pull it out here. What we have is a two optical prisms. One is mirrored, this one right here. On the inside is mirrored. This one right here is not. And of course, okay, don't don't touch any of the optical surfaces right there, which I just did. God, dog it. All right, so my whole reason for this video is to determine which screws uh, are the collimation adjust and which one fasten this prism assembly down. Well, I've taken the ones that fasten the assembly down out. So all that's left is the collimation screws and you can identify them because they're the ones, let's see if I can zoom in. They're the screws. Where's, where's my, where's everything? There we go. They're the screws that sit up. Those are the ones that adjust your collimation. 
These screws that are right next to it are the ones that fasten this down once you get it collimated. So what you're gonna have to do when you're collimating this, and there's three different screws to do it so that you can do uh, two axis. Loosen these screws, the ones that are flush with the mount, loosen them slightly, make your adjustment, and then slightly screw them back down okay, and see if your collimation is right. This screw right here simply holds this band that holds the prism in. That's all it does. So anyway, let's look at the back of it. A nice view of my knuckle, that's great. If you look back here, you can see that this long screw right here is the adjustment screw. Okay, and it presses against the bulkhead of the binoculars to raise and lower this prism plate. So that is your adjustment screw. Your fastening screw goes right next to it. I haven't adjusted it yet. However, that is my next quest. Now that I understand how it actually works, that is my next quest is to adjust the collimation. And best I can tell from all the videos I've seen, thank you, YouTube, is that you need to just get a star or something that is long, far, far away and, uh, and collimate on it. I'm scared if I collimate on a terrestrial object that it will be too close and that I will, I will have some parallax error if I do a terrestrial object. So tonight I'm going to try and collimate it on Jupiter since it's bright and uh, see how we do. Thanks.